So this week's episode is pomegranate, which um, I have a very strong uh, historical connection to. I grew up with pomegranates. Um, I ate it as a child. My mom has, still has like three pomegranate trees in the garden and they just come off. They're so productive. You get so many pomegranates, which is wonderful. First of all, those seeds are just such a wonderful thing for, for salads and garnishes. So whenever you eat something savory, and it needs to that kind of sharp sweetness at the end. You can use pomegranate seeds. It also works well with certain meats like lamb, where you want that kind of uh, acidity there at the background, but that but sweetness. Really, it, there's there's nothing like it. It's that kind of combination of both flavor and a splash of color that hardly any other ingredient does. And today I'm going to show you two uh, recipes that really benefit from this uh, from this color and from that really kind of explosion of, of wonderful flavor. It really lifts things up like, like really like nothing else. Uh, I'm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a tomato and pomegranate salad. It's a really nice like sweet and sour and deliciously um, uh, juicy salad. And I'm just gonna start by breaking down a pomegranate. So um, it's, there's so many ways to do it. I'll show you one way. Starts by just kind of taking uh, the lid off the pomegranate. So I've just scored the top and you use your hand to kind of take this bit off. And then, um, the pomegranate is divided into segments that you can see with these white paths here along the sides. So I'm just going to go and score the pomegranate uh, lightly, not all the way to the bottom, but just um, like three quarters of the way along those uh, little white paths. So every time you see this kind of white ridge cut through and another one and another one. So what that allows you is to open up the pomegranate really nicely. So you just kind of like gently take the one segment out, remove one and then another, and then another, and then another. So what you're left with is this, um, this beautiful open pomegranate, which really just now uh, requires uh, for you to kind of take the seeds out, which is not so complicated. You just want to get rid of the uh, white skin which is bitter and you don't want any of that so it's just a case of kind of like easing them out teasing them out and I find it's the most relaxing job that you can have in the kitchen I don't know why but I just think it's just so satisfying just giving them a little push and they just all burst out and like if you do this within uh, five to ten minutes you can have a bowl full of beautiful pomegranate seeds which you can just enjoy as they are or use for the salad that I'm using. Uh, so I've got some pomegranate seeds here. I've got some more uh, from before and this salad is really it's all about um, pomegranates and tomatoes which is really really nice because pomegranates have got one kind of acidity a sweet acidity and tomatoes has a more savory acidity and I love kind of combining those things that are layered and complex and wonderful in that in that way so we've got sweet and sour that really come both from tomatoes and and from pomegranates but I'm going to start by making a little dressing so uh, pomegranate molasses which is like you know this is like liquid gold it's really really sharp and really sweet essentially what it is it's the reduction of pomegranate juice so uh, the juice is put in big vats and let reduce dramatically. And that's when it gets that kind of really rich cut color. It looks like petrol. It's like so wonderful. And I'm adding some uh, vinegar and some allspice, which is a wonderful sweet spice um, ground that I really, really love in that context. So talking about layer, you get another layer of sweetness that comes from the allspice. So you've got sweetness of pomegranate, sweetness of tomato, sweetness of allspice. It's wonderful. I'm going to add about three or four tablespoons of oil in here. Uh, so that goes in there as well. Uh, finally, I'm going to crush some garlic in there and a pinch of salt. A bit more than a pinch. A bit of pepper. Uh, 
and don't be afraid to use your garlic crush it's the best tool for this um, and I'm gonna give it a nice little whisk and it emulsifies so that all the separate elements the pomegranate molasses the vinegar and the oil all come together to this emulsified texture and I'm just gonna taste it for seasoning I'm gonna add a bit more salt and a bit more pepper. So when you use pomegranate molasses, it's really, really important. There's no sugar added to it and it's still super sweet. So you want to balance that sweetness with saltiness. Um, hence, really nice uh, seasoned is important. So nice and salty. And that's my dressing done and ready. Um, what I'm gonna do next is literally mix together all the things that I've got. So I'm using different colors tomatoes. So I've got and different um, texture tomatoes. So I've got these little plum tomatoes that are a little bit more um, firm. I've got these um, semi green tomatoes, a bit more um, kind of spongy is not a nice word, but softer and and plum tomatoes. And I've got like um, yellow tomatoes. And what you get is different textures, different colors because this is all about tomatoes and pomegranates. So it's quite a lot of work dicing it, but it's really, really worth it. If you leave the tomatoes there for a long time, put it in a colander, get rid of some of those juices. Don't throw them away because they're delicious. You can drink them. Uh, but it's important not to get too much juice into the salad, too much tomato juice. So these tomatoes have been diced and drained. The diced tomatoes, is, they're diced small. It is a really wonderful condiment to meat or for meze because you, for every bite of, of this salad, you get different, uh, different types of tomatoes. So you get a lot uh, in each taste. And I also got some diced pepper as well. Uh, that's for added crunch. And some diced red onion. And that makes it taste a little bit less sweet and more savory. So the thing is, again, with the pomegranate molasses and the tomatoes, they've got a lot of sweetness. And I'm balancing that uh, with onion. I'm going to add a, a hard herb, uh, some more pomegranate seeds. I'm going to keep some for garnish. And then I'm just going to get a big spoon and spoon it very gently. So I'm trying not to spoil anything, not to bruise the tomatoes too much, not to bruise the pomegranate seeds. Just stir it so everything comes together. And I mean, come on, look at the beauty of that. That is amazing. Look at all these colors. That's because I'm using different tomatoes and, and the pomegranate. So you've got really like these jewels of beauty. All those go really well together. And now I'm going to add the dressing. So the pomegranate, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, all that goes on top. So sweet, garlicky, oniony, and obviously that kind of fresh pomegranate flavor and gently stir. So this salad is not just about the way it tastes, it's really about the way it looks. And I really want to spread it out on a big platter so it really shows off um, all its colors and different textures. So I'm just gently spreading it on the platter. It's so beautiful. And it's really as simple as that. So all the work that you're doing goes into dicing the tomatoes. All the rest is hardly any work at all. I'm going to use uh, these pomegranates just so we have more on top because they are really the crown jewel of this salad. So I'm just going to spread extra pomegranates everywhere. And I'm just going to add a drizzle of olive oil so make everything looks really nice and shiny. And the last thing I'm going to do is that pomegranate molasses it really is, it does look so good. It's so dark red that it really paints everything in a very dramatic color. So I love using it to finish off salads, this salad as well. So I don't want to use too much. It's, as I said, it's sweet, but it does look great. So it's kind of like uh, when you put maple syrup on your pancake, it just makes it so delicious and luxurious. So that pomegranate juice goes everywhere. And I would just bring that uh, straight to the table. I've got some um, oregano leaves here for green and also for the savory flavor to balance. So 
So I'm just gonna really run to the table with that. It's so perfect as it is with the pomegranates and it will work well with a roasted meat or it's part of the meze and you, you just bring it there and it's it's got just kind of shows all its glory with these pomegranates and tomatoes. I love it. Ooh, it looks so beautiful. It's fresh, oh, huh? Yeah, are we eating now? It's what you need. Um, it's what you need at the end of the day. Something like it's a palate cleanser. But listen, okay. don't come in yet. I know. I, I know you. You. You want to have that. But I've got something really quick I can make. Okay. Come back and we'll try two things. Okay, okay. There's a bonus. Okay, see you in a bit. See ya. Um, so I want to do something really quickly. I've got this. Um, this colorful salad that really features pomegranate so nicely, but I'm going to do, do another thing with pomegranate and a pomegranate molasses, which is super quick. Um, so I've got these um, aubergines that have been um, burnt or grilled and peeled. So it's super quick, just in the sense that this has already been done for me. Uh, that takes a while, but it's not, a, it's not so complicated. I'm just going to take these, uh, these uh, burnt aubergine and I'm just going to spread them here on my um, on my chopping board because I just want to um, show you the texture of I want. So I'm not chopping them up completely. I'm just kind of just separating them uh, into like strands because I want the texture of the of the burnt aubergine to stay more or less as it is. So not chopped up, but kind of like strands of aubergine like that. And it's since it's been cooked really nicely on the stove top, um, there's a really, really nice smoky flavor, which is what this salad is all about. So smoky flavor, sweet flavor. Uh, so I'm just I'm gonna, I'm kind of just spreading them uh, really lightly. And to that, I'm gonna add a bit of uh, lemon skin. So lemon zest. So I would say half a lemon. I'm gonna add one garlic clove. Depends on the size. These are quite big. So one clove of garlic should be enough for this one. And then I'm gonna chop up some parsley and mint. So finely chopped parsley and mint. So that goes in there as well. So I've got my burnt aubergine, garlic, zested lemon, and then I'm gonna add some lemon juice as well. Some olive oil. and a generous amount of salt and pepper. Now this salad is, as I said, I want to kind of show, showcase um, pomegranate and pomegranate molasses, but I'm not going to add too much of those at this point. I'm going to use them more as a garnish. Of course, they'll give a lot of flavor and a lot of color, but I'm not quite adding them yet. First, I want to just check that I've got all my flavors right. So I've got my um, acidity, the saltiness. That's kind of ready. I'm going to add some pomegranate seeds now, but not a lot. It's just a beautiful way to feature an aubergine and to um, and to feature the pomegranate. So I'm going to finish it off um, with just a little bit more lemon zest. So that lemon is really just for the beautiful color on top. Finally, the pomegranate molasses, which will really bring that all that shine, that depth of redness, and a bit of sweetness to this lovely salad. And this is okay. There isn't any of it inside, but it will kind of seep into the, into the salad. So uh, this uh, aubergine salad and this uh, tomato and pomegranate salad are really Two really great ways to use pomegranates and pomegranate molasses. Beautiful and sweet and yeah, just what I want to eat. Chaya, I'm ready for you now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting a face. Nice. I love this face place. It's so, it's so, it's so cool. cute. Yeah, it looks at you while you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Not judging. Not judging. <laughs> I was in Turkey one summer and mm. I saw this combination of pomegranate molasses and tomatoes in a salad. I thought like, that's just so genius because it's mm -hmm. just what tomato needs. 
that's so delicious. There's all this uh, beautiful fresh juiciness like from the tomatoes and then you bite into a juicy pomegranate seed. It's so, so good. I agree. Mm. How many seeds are in a pomegranate? Can someone Google that? <laughs> it's approximately 600 uh, seeds. What? 600 what? seeds That's in so a pomegranate. Much. So when we are opening a pomegranate, we're releasing 600 seeds. 600. 600. That's a lot. That's it's a lot. lot. It's a lot of. It's a lot of uh, goodness. It's a lot of goodness. <laughs>